modern Taiwanese fried chicken sandwiches to Japanese mochi desserts, you can discover a whole world of flavors at 2D restaurants. Founder Kevin Yu joins us now to help us celebrate National Mochi Day. Kevin, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having and me. And you bought us some beautiful sweaters we and got purse. to the 2D world with us. And thank you for bringing us so into fun. the 2D world. This is such a great concept. Thank I think you. people come into the restaurant, first of all, are probably wowed mm -hmm. by the decor, yeah. but then you keep them because of the mochi oh, and the yes. different food. Absolutely, yeah. Tell us how you came up with the concept. So Vanessa, my wife, and I uh, were staying home, like the rest of us during, during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I love comics, so I was going through my comic pages. All of a sudden, Vanessa, who is a talented interior designer, came out with the idea of transporting people into a two-dimensional space um, so we can stay away from the chaos in life during the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. We were supposed to go to Paris for our honeymoon in June 2020. Oh, no. It got canceled, so yeah. we decided to bring Paris to Chicago. Oh. So as soon as you step into our restaurant, you'll be going to a comical Paris, joining us on the honeymoon that never happened. Oh, Aww. my gosh, it's so cute. Look at how beautiful this is. I, I asked you before we started the show if people try to color in here. <laughs> <laughs> they try it on a daily basis, but I think people appreciate the art even more. Yeah. Um, we got to have a coloring a book coming up. I actually did awesome. one from my, uh, from my uh, five-year-old for fun. Oh, and yeah. then people have been asking for that on a consistent basis. So uh -huh. we're going to make something even better. And this merch is awesome. The I new love merch. it. This is <laughs> great. It's just all so soft, soft and beautiful. And the cute little Thank handbags. You. But I have to tell you, I really want to take a bite of the mochi. Yes. yes. Tell me about the mochi. So the mochi donut it got really popular in Asia in early 2000. That's one of my favorite growing up in Taiwan. Uh -huh. So the mochi donut, unlike the cake donut that's made with cakes, flowers, the mochi donuts, are, especially ours, is made with mochi starch, okay. sticky rice, a mm -hmm. little bit of tapioca, a little bit of flour, and we finish everything with a Chicago made tofu, Ooh. which make our donut base vegan, mm. uh, plant-based, uh, with very little uh, allergens, and then we fry them with varieties of different topping. Uh, we like to do things that come from Asia. Uh -huh. So we got uh, a little bit of Tokyo uh, chocolate, matcha, and strawberry. And we'll be doing a Filipino ube together today. Okay, Ooh, that is fun. That's so because it has uh, to tofu in it, does it mean that this is full of protein? That is, sure. does have a slightly more protein compared to a traditional cake donut okay. with less carb and less fat. Ooh, we love it's it. Like, it's like eating, <laughs> eating a little bit healthier. All right, so we're going to do the foam, cheese foam and then a glaze, right? Yeah, we gotta, okay. we're going to definitely get the icing going first. Okay. So we'll okay. see if the time allows. So we'd like to do our icing a little differently. We uh, In Asia, we like to do our dessert with a little less sweet. Yes. yes. Uh, better for you. So we actually will be starting everything with a melted chocolate. So That's instead Chocolate? Yeah, so this is a chocolate grenache, has white chocolate and heavy cream as a base, mm -hmm. so we wouldn't have to put in so much powdered sugar. Okay. Got it, okay. And from there, we'll be adding a little bit of powdered sugar. Just a little bit. To yeah. help it solidify the icing a bit. Oh yeah, so you get that nice glazy look to it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once that's in... Are you a pastry chef by trade? I love to cook. Okay. Uh, before this, I did ramen for quite a few years. Okay. Uh, but I always enjoy making pastry at home. And okay. uh, I'm kind of a self-taught, along with working with my mentor from, the, uh, from Osaka. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, he's the one who kind of got me started with everything. Okay. So now we got some powdered sugar in there for uh, the body, a little bit of white chocolate. We're going to finish with a little bit of coconut oil. Okay. It's great for you and also brings out a little bit of shyness to the icing. Mm -hmm. So this is also vegan as well, correct? Yeah. Wow. I I should know the, uh, the, the oh, there's recipe. milk in the chocolate. There's yes, milk in oh, the chocolate. Okay, that's right. But we do have the option to replace the milk with oat milk, where there's also a wonderful vegan cream cheese that we can use. Oh, fantastic. Uh, one so, thing we love to do is create balance. Yeah. So oh. now we got some sweetness. We're going to add a little bit of salt in there. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the show of the game is our the ube. ube. Yes. yes. Ube has got really popular in the States yes. in the past couple of years. It has a very nice silky touch to it with a hint of vanilla. And a beautiful color. Beautiful color I for love sure. The purple. the purple is so beautiful. And we're gonna put in a tab of our Ube condensed milk. Oh fun. Oh wow. And we will have the recipe on our website, so make sure yeah. if you can't keep up with all of this that you check it out. All right, and now we're going to blend. I have got to give me one <laughs> I of these. I know. Okay. This looks so much easier. It does. 
Look at that. So as you're blending, uh, you have two, two locations right now, but you guys are expanding. Yeah, we're hoping to bring the joy of the Tiki restaurant to many other parts of the states. Uh, we have a couple other projects that's in place, and we would love to share with you all. Once the arts are all together, Vanessa and I create and define all the 2D restaurants ourselves, and there's a story with each the store, so that they take a little longer. Oh, sure. But I think it's gonna be a much, much more interesting surprise once the door, we open the door to the public. I love that. How often do you change the decor in each store, or do you even change it? So when we were drafting the business idea, my idea was to refresh the artwork once a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. But once I saw the artwork Vanessa put in there, I know I had to prioritize my marriage. Yes. <laughs> so I, a smart yes. man. I wouldn't dare to touch her artwork yes, in any bit. That's a smart man. Yes. So, I love it. So from there, um, we now adding in other elements. Okay. So okay. We're putting a different veneer, different decors. Uh, for example, this year we had a wonderful decor uh, collaboration with Godzilla. So we put on a seven feet tall Godzilla in our oh, store fun. in a comic manner. Fun. So that's one that's of the so ways cool. we're refreshing our artwork uh -huh. and using different sort of merchandise, different kind of experience in the store. Okay. Yeah, so now the icing is pretty set okay. in here. So we're gonna be doing a couple different takes of our mochi dessert. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is our traditional mochi donut. Okay. And over here you can see we have our matcha, mm -hmm. our lychee glaze, okay. strawberry, oh, lychee. Oh, yeah. and chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing a quick ube in here. Ube with what's on top? So, things... Toasted oh. coconut. We're gonna do a little mm. bit of toasted coconut. So the mochi donut has a very interesting texture, very soft and very, very tender. You probably can't put it in the icing for very long, right? Not for too long. Okay. Because it'll so, soak that right up and so deflate it. We're oh, going so to pretty. finish that with a little bit of coconut flakes on top. Oh, that is so for cute. For an inch of much better oh, texture on there. Look at that. And once that's in there, voila! Voila! We also done. have the option to make something even more interesting. So this has become one of the most popular things we make in the store. We always want to figure out a way to embrace our desserts. Yeah. So we will be doing a little bit of mochi platter uh, as well. Oh, this so is what fun. we can do here is start out with a beautiful mochi platter. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the sea foam that we have yes. the recipe okay. to share with yep. everybody yep. online. Um, we'll be putting that onto our donuts. Ooh. This is fun. Oh, yeah. And How pretty. Mm -hmm. and from there, we put adding all kind of fresh fruit of your choice. That's yeah. so nice. It almost makes it like a pancake or a waffle. Exactly. At this point. And then you can actually enjoy a different texture. Yeah. With the mochi donut compared to your everyday waffles. Yeah. So that. much lighter Something. and prettier too. Yes. Absolutely. And then I see you also have sandwiches oh. here. The yeah. Oh, the fried chicken looks so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we're actually known for our fried chicken sandwich in the store. I was born in Taiwan, so mm -hmm. the Taiwanese fried chicken is always made with soy, ginger, and garlic for a nice aromatic touch. Okay. So we do have that in the store as well. And the uh, beverages look fantastic too. Yeah, we, well, I drafted the entire program. Really want to embrace the, uh, the Asian culture. Mm -hmm. So we got flavors from Taiwan, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Singapore, all over the place. Want to embrace the Asian Culture. Well, I see why people love coming yes. to your store. So much fun. Oh, also you guys have classes too, correct? Yeah, we host classes for donut decorating, 2D art. That's okay. so cool. So and yeah. merch. And so merch. The merch now. that we're wearing, you can actually come in and buy, correct? Yeah. So we're going to finish the mochi platter <gasps> okay. with oh a little bit God. of I'm going to steal together. a little bite of this while you're I'm going to steal one mm. of the, 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 the um, <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I'm supposed chef. to talk. Mm. Kevin, thank you. This is awesome. This is so good. My pleasure. Uh, Restaurant, there's the two locations. We'll have to tell you about the other ones once they open. But there's one on Halstead, one in Fulton Market. Social media handles as well as the website. Check them out. This is so fun. Mm. I love it. It's so light, but it has texture to it. Yeah, so it mm. adds a little more character to your breakfast. Mm. Or you want to have a dessert in the mm. afternoon, we can mm. do that as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much. My pleasure, lovely. guys. Thank you.